Hi guys, welcome back to Lian's Garden. Beautiful day today and I want to do some pretty plantings. But first, I want to show you my camellia. This one is blooming so beautifully. I got some flower and on drop off before. But this one's still so pretty. And this one is my rhododendron. Cowboy flower. And it's mostly this rhododendron. You see huge clutter of bloom. And this one even bigger. This one I think about 20 centimeters wide and long. Now let's see the vine. And here are the vines. I got one evergreen clematis and one deciduous one. Let's talk about this one first. This one been blooming so beautiful and I'm so excited. And the flower, they got beautiful scents. They are like jasmine or daffodil in early spring. When you do work around your garden, if you grow lots of daffodils. Um, and here is a variety, what is called Clematis among the apple blossoms. So this one is hardy from zone 7 to 9. Look at this. And this one is pruning the group 1. So that means it doesn't need, need much uh, pruning. And it, you remember when you buy the plant, you make sure you read the, the back of the task. And the, you should do some research on the internet as well. So this for so this one is pruning the group one. That means it doesn't need much of pruning. It's bloomed in the previous growth season. So that means you don't want to prune any like in early spring like this. No, not pruning like that. Only prune after they feel it blooming and remove uh, dead and branches off. And, and here is the other one. I really love this variety. Clematis Avongard. Hope you can see the name clearly. Super Winter Hardy, Zone 4 to 9. You see that? And this variety is a pruning group uh, tree. That means you cut very hard uh, at the end of winter and early spring and new shoots in uh, shooting up and on this, the new shoot here, they can produce the bloom in later. Uh, Season. That means they can bloom, I think, in late summer, to late summer and to autumn. And this, this one, by the way, this one is bloom in early spring, like you can see over here. So clematis, they love morning sun. Between 5 and 6 of hours of sun is best. They don't like hot afternoon sun though. So make sure you do, don't put your clematis in the very intensive sun in the afternoon area. And they love their root cones. Either you can mow the clematis very heavily or you can plant the little plants or shrubs that they have a very um, less intensive uh, root system. And so that's why you can support your clematis to have a um, uh, nice and cool roots throughout the summer and they love moist, well drained and they don't like wet feet so make sure you don't put your uh, position, uh, your clamps in position they got a uh, very um, heavy clay soil and they like between neutral to slightly alkaline soil and if your soil is too acidic and you can use lime to sweeten the soil up a little bit and the clematis, I'm going to bury quite a little bit deep. So you can see here, this is more clearly. Here, this is the carbon soil, and this is the third leaf um, or branches that we're branching out over here. I'm going to cover it up here, okay, in the middle between this zip butt and zip butt. So in the future, your, uh, this area, they can branch it out and they can root out all around here and a lot of branches and grow and your plant can, put, can get thicker and put you a lot of more branches and means you can have a lot of flower. And the same as this one as well. And so that's why you so can have to keep their roots um, Keep the roots cool as well. So next, bring into the position I want to plant them. I'm going to put one um, at my backyard here and one into the front yard. And here is the position the season I want to put this one in. So this is the evergreen I took earlier, and this is just kind of temporary trellis that I got for it. 
because I do like to build some kind of nice structure. You see the structure there on this area for it. But my father-in-law, he can't come down here because of COVID. We're still in the lockdown. So I think I'm going to put it right here, like this. And just temporarily until we can figure out something nice and pretty for it. And because, let me go back a little bit. So in the, um, in the winter, we hear nothing on this fan and I feel it quite bare. So I think it would be very pretty there. And on the leaf structure throughout the winter, I think it would be so pretty. And this is the north facing. So we can have a morning sun until 2 or 3 p.m. And shades in more the intensive hot afternoon. And the same as the other bush, I can bring into, uh, into the trolley, you know the trolley that I got my grapevine. So that area you got morning sun as well and shades in the afternoon. So I think I had to do uh, very quick and planting them in the well and I should show you what they look like at the end. And here it is, I planted, I pour several buckets of compost over the base of the plants. This is mushroom compost, by the way. And you can see underneath, I got drip equation tubing or pies, they all settled. And hopefully this vine could be beautiful and start growing. And next winter, we will have more green and flower cover the whole empty area. And hopefully next time, I don't know, maybe a few more months when the lockdown over and my father-in-law can come down here and help me to build something very pretty for it. Because I know this, uh, this time can go very big, as I said earlier, six meter wide. And you might think this position may be too much sun for it, but I do have this plum tree and in the summer all the leaves come out. And this is my tiny little um, persimmon tree and another persimmon on this side. So in the future, it will have a lot of shade as well. But I think they still have received a lot of sunshine. Even this tree shade it um, a little bit. So let's go into the front and i show you the tree in the front or the vine in the front. And here is the vine. Let me stand back here so you can see my beautiful trellis that my father-in-law he built it for me. And I, the reason I decided to put the deciduous one in here because the um, climate could be very bad in the winter. And because of the beautiful trellis like this, so it doesn't matter much with the very bad stick of the climate. I think I, can, I might plan like some little plant, maybe salvia around the base here or some other little plant. So the root of the climate could be very cool and nice. So that's this guy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this inspires you. Maybe um, find the source to buy some beautiful plants. A lot of um, uh, nursery or nice day opening for the click and collect and delivery at the moment. So I hope you can find some beautiful plants and do some planting in early spring. Thank you so much and see you next video. Bye bye.